What's going on guys? This is Jacob from the Chaos Divers. Just thought I'd hop on to let you all know about what's fixing to happen. So I'll wait for, I just hit my head. That gum, stupid sign. <clears throat> so things are about to get a little crazy. Um, I'll wait till everybody gets on to announce it before. See if we have some takers. What's going on? I see some people are already joining. That's a great thing. If y'all don't know about me, um, oh wow, we, we have quite a few people on. <laughs> What's going on, guys? <laughs> it's uh, it's ex the channel. Wow, there's quite a few people on. What's going on, Mad uh, Monica? Bredesen, what's up, OSO, what's up, Christina Gonzalez, what's up, Bobby Stevens, what's going on, uh, Sharon Iverson, Anna Aliff, Kimberly, what's going on, Cre holy goodness gracious, what's up, Matt, um, yeah, so, as you all know, I've been doing um, Adventures with Purposes live streams for the past week or so they've been on some crazy adventures and it is definitely um a chore to do his moderation um his modding there it's uh it's crazy so <laughs> uh reeling with remy before before my channel got deleted the, the chaos y yeah bredesen i think is i think that's how you say it um, actually on my last channel, I had the, the chaos paddlers channel. It, it, uh, I think I got about 30 or 40, something like that. So, uh, Teresa Coyer, what's going on? I appreciate you guys coming in. Suddenly I'm nobody. What's going on SJ? I didn't see you. Um, reeling with Remy, what's going on? So let's start this out with, I mean, there's enough people in here, obviously. Um, <laughs> Let's start out with Christina. I have to tell you what, I do apologize for that. I have fat fingers. Uh, what's going on? Uh, Anne Marie Rollins. Um, I do have fat fingers, as Jared mentioned. So whenever I was going through, I was trying to do, I think I, I, think I blocked you. And I wasn't even supposed to be even life or uh, modding because I was driving and I was doing this little number. Don't text and drive. It's not good. So anyway, and I, I blocked you. Um, I think I just put you in timeout, though. Still, I'm sorry. <laughs> so anyway, let's get back to what we're going to do. So on Monday, uh, you're going to show your creative... You're going to show your creativity on the live stream, bro? Yes. Yes, Bobby Stevens, I'm going to be with them um, Monday. So my brother-in-law and I, JD, he'll be my cameraman. What's up, Byron McDonald? How are you? So he's going to be, um, he's going to be coming with. We're going to drive down to Lake Cumberland and meet up with him on Monday. Um, I have a couple announcements on, <clears throat> see, I don't, I don't have the, what's up, Kathy Snyder. I don't have the, the big, huge cameras like the, you know, the, the expensive big cameras like Adventures with Purpose and, and Sam and all that. So I had to come up with an idea of my own and try to fabricate something that my, my cameraman could actually hold instead of holding a little GoPro. So I came up with this contraption. Now keep in mind that this contraption that I've built, it all just it it all came to me at once. So don't don't knock it, and it may not even work. If you all seen some of my videos, you'll see I have this huge microphone right here on my chest. This will actually take out every bit of the wind like a dead cat would. This is a teddy bear arm. 
that has medical tape wrapped around it to the end. I literally sat in my garage and tested this out. I took the teddy, <laughs> rest in peace teddy bear, but I took the teddy bear's arm off, I took his leg off, I used the inner part of the, uh, the, the chest part just to see if I could figure out a different combination of um, stuffing <clears throat> to see if I can get the wind. This is a teddy bear's arm. This was the best part of a teddy bear. So it cost me $5 and I had to dissect a teddy bear to get this. I know teddy, I know teddy bear's life matters, but so anyway, here's the deal. I don't have a road mic or anything like that that fits on top. I don't have a bracket. These are handlebars off of a, um, a bicycle. So I cut that and put them on there for handles. Cameraman, this light won't be here, but it is a really super bright light. So if we get caught at the night trying to get a vehicle out, then I'll have it's really good footage. So let me take this off. <clears throat> I think all together I spent... I'm going to say 12 bucks altogether on this. The strap is for whenever JD's on the boat, like my brother-in-law, he could actually carry it without having to hold it like this. So, and he can actually stabilize it if he was actually put it like right here. He could stabilize it and look through the camera on the back of his head. Now, that would be annoying. I don't know if he'd do that or not. I wouldn't do that. So he can hold this like this. Now, I, like I said, I don't have the road mics. These are Sennheiser wireless receivers. This, if I have this on, is it this? That, okay, so that's a receiver and that's the transmitter. So the transmitter, if I had the transmitter on, this wire is ran up all the way up to this microphone. Let me, let me scoot this back so you guys can see. So this transmitter I can go a football field length and it'll still capture the uh, video, uh, the sound. So I always had this on me and then I had this, try to attach it to a, a gooseneck on the, on the GoPro and it was just horrible. So now I just cut part of a inch and a quarter PVC, set them in there. Now these are in there tight. You can actually I want to do this and I'm going to probably, it's probably going to fall out and make me look like an idiot, but you can actually turn it upside down and they're still stuck in there. There's no straps, no nothing on there. I do have to um, Velcro the back of this wire so it doesn't sit there and tap, but this is crisp, clear sound. So we sat down without anyone holding it in case you all Okay, so Bobby Stevens said, make some sort of um, leg stand so it could be set down without anyone holding it in case you all need hands on deck, all hands on deck. You know, I thought about putting like a tripod, like cutting another piece and making it connect with like a, just like a stand so I could do that. And then I could move the camera down a little bit so it could still get the same angle like on a rock. So yeah, that is a good idea. Um, I thought about that, but I was trying to figure out how to make this not as as heavy because right now it's not cumbersome at all it's it's pretty light i could hold this all day long it's almost like holding one of those gimbals and a bigger camera up with one hand so i got the strap my goodness there's a lot of people on here um i've got <clears throat> three quarter inch pipe and the handlebar grips off of a bicycle right here is just a little three quarter inch um, clamp for like putting conduit in and I hook up a which I don't have it with me but my extra battery source <laughs> um, I'm, I'm now understanding what Sam's going through um, so anyway you hook up the power source and I can power up this GoPro all day long and JD won't have to worry about me having to switch to battery without me knowing 
So yeah, that's my contraption there. And this actually slides out. Um, Leon Collier, what's going on? This will actually slide out and that's where the wire's going through. But I don't wanna do that, I wanna keep it in there. But yeah, it sounds crisp and hopefully it will work well with it. And if you guys wanna see it from the back side, the only problem is I couldn't find a bicycle handlebar that was extra thick. So I had to cut it and then I just electrical taped it. This took me, I don't know, maybe an hour to build. And then I painted it. So all we have to do is turn this on, turn this on, and then the GoPro will automatically turn on whenever I say the magic words. I'm not going to say it. All right. So let me get back to your comments here in a second. That is my contraption. Oh, and I also use the GoPro. <clears throat> when you buy a GoPro, you get this little platform. Never really used it. Never really thought about a way to use it. And now I have. So that's pretty awesome. Um, other than that, that's about it. Like I said, the wires are ran through here. So it would be wireless type. Um, which like I said, this is wireless anyway, but the microphone, it's just a pain in the butt and it looks retarded on me on like my previous videos, like the sonar search and recovery from waters. When we were out there searching the waters, um, <clears throat> I had that big bulky microphone on me. Got to go, sweetie. Um, you all great. Well, there's a lot of people in here. Okay. So let me get, let me get back to some comments guys. And I'm going to talk really fast. So, uh, it needs snack bar and a cup holder. You know, I thought about a cup holder, Alex, um, Alex, uh, realistic fishing. He is a great follower. Um, great friend. And he has a great channel. Philly, uh, road, road tech and an omelet bar. There you go. Who's your back OD? Uh, well, who's your back outdoors? What's going on, Ben? Um, maybe make it removable so it won't be too heavy. Um, the, actually, if I don't use the mic, I can take this bar off and I can unscrew this. So all you have is this and you can just hold it like that. It's just a stabilizer after that. Like I said, the straps on there just in case he has to get on a boat and doesn't want to carry it around. Uh, I caught a chunk yesterday. It looks like fall bite may be coming around. I, I went back down, guys. I'm sorry about if I didn't catch your comments. <laughs> well, realistic fishing. If you want to learn how to fish, you go to your channel. I, I'm going to give you props. I, I love your channel. Uh, just breathe nice and slow. Don't panic. We're all friendly and supportive. Crash, I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, I do have a lot of moderators in here. So I know really good and well that Jared's channel had some really great supportive people in there. Um, I did have a few cats that I had to take out. <clears throat> so I, I do appreciate that. Shannon Iverson, what's going on? Like I said, if I don't get to your chat, I'm sorry. My son and I caught a two, two 13 plus pound catfish the other night. I seen those pictures, those are awesome. <clears throat> you should patent that design so nobody will steal that design. Um, <laughs> what's up, NorCal Nate? Um, I like seeing him a little nervous. Uh, I got timed out last night. <clears throat> I got timed out last night. I can't even read. I got timed out the last time I was here. Yes, you did. <laughs> You're a cat removing a ninja. Well, David, what's going on, buddy? Um, yeah. So it's, it's really difficult for me to throw out the links plus look at the chat. But like I said earlier, in a no-named um, 7 million subscriber, uh, I was a moderator for him. <clears throat> and that's how I met Jared. So my you ought to see me work. I'm like 90 miles an hour to nothing, just doing everything. And if I miss or if I catch something wrong, whenever I'm reading it, you might get timed out or you might get booted. Uh, he loves to time out people. Christina knows very well. <laughs> uh, oh my God, there's 70 people in here. Um, I, 
I could use a bang right now. Uh, I, that's what I, that's what I forgot. What's up, Jordan Anderson? Well, I found you because Adventures with Purpose. I appreciate it. I'm neither friendly nor support. <laughs> well, all right, Christine. Uh, Kristen Johnson, what's going on? Um, what's up, John Salisbury? How are you doing? Michelle Koz, uh, Kozma? Cosma? Um, hello from Tennessee. Hello. He feels pretty in pink. I'll tell you what. Um, hey, paraglider guy. Uh, who's that? Is Extreme Hobbyist in here? What's going on, Jarrett? Yes, that's a pink shirt. Mods need to cooperate. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I don't remember. Who the heck was it? Oh, I had a moderator that was... He, he had a few of those really good drinks. And he decided to... Um, he decided to mod that night. <laughs> Just call it Salmon Keller. Well, it's a pink out shirt. Uh, Penny, which is one of our uh, uh, staff members at Mermet Springs, she has breast cancer, and we did a big, huge fundraiser. I haven't put that video out yet. Um, so, I mean, I'm like four videos behind, but I'm getting it out very soon. We have a pink out fundraiser for her to support her and her family in this time. Thank you, Kimberly. I appreciate it. Um, if you guys are ever in Pittsburgh, PA, I have four special need daughters that I would love to meet you guys. Um, they would love giving out cold water to you guys. Like you guys. Yes, that, that, would, be, that would be amazing if we were to come back to Pennsylvania. But um, So what they're doing, that's a bad idea to, <laughs> to mod drunk. So right now, what we're what they're doing is well, they're in Georgia now, but they're going to come back up to Lake Cumberland on Monday. I'll be with them on Monday through the 16th, which they'll be in Nashville after that, and then I'm coming back home. So I was with them with the uh, with the Nathan Ashby case um, when we found him in St. Louis. Uh, it wasn't me. No, it wasn't you, Ben. I'm not going to name a name. Brent, <clears throat> who said that? Um, anyway, no drinking and modding. That's exactly right. I'm just kidding. Don't let the secret out that I am. Oops, I guess I should have said that. Huh? Um, wow, I need to go back. Okay. It's, it's official. My dive class starts November 3rd. Reeling with Remy, that's awesome. Congratulations, buddy. Um, yes, I like that you are collaborative. Thank you. I appreciate that. Dude, I caught the live stream. Yes, you did, Golf Bates. How are you? Um, well, I wish you had super chats. Dang it. Well, if um, if you guys... <laughs> I don't have super chats yet because I don't have the monetizations. Um, I don't have the monetization yet. I think I have approximately... 190,000 hours and I need 240,000 or minutes. I'm sorry. Minutes. Um, I need 240. So if you guys will support me and start watching, then I can get monetized. <laughs> Sam, Sam, the event. Oh no, Sam's on here. What's going on, buddy? Uh, Byron McDonald. What's up? Have you guys made it to where you were going yet? I, I didn't see him come in. Uh, what uppers? What's up? Yeah, I can't wait till you guys are here in Nashville. I can't either. Um, yeah, okay, so I'm caught up actually. We're watching you. <laughs> help. <laughs> I don't have Sam to help me out. Or, uh, yeah, I don't have Sam to help me out. So I don't have Jared to help me out because he is a talker. Uh, I thought I could handle it. And uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm glad you're here with me. Rock on. <laughs> Yo, you look like you're about to cry. You okay? I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, are you going out with Adventures with Purpose? Yeah. We are going to be... Uh... Y'all see me put a hole in... Yeah, did you all see the live stream? 
to where uh, Jared told Sam to go, 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 push the gas a little harder. Then he blamed it on Sam. You hear those crickets? I hear them. <laughs> okay, so Crash, what we got is we're going to be going down, um, maybe possibly pulling out a helicopter um, or something. I, I don't exactly know the details. I don't even exactly know where we're meeting up with Jared. So that's going to be a, a different story. Uh, so <laughs> we're going to meet on Monday. He still hasn't told me where at, though. I just know it's Lake Cumberland. That's exciting. Yes, a hole in RV. Uh, it, it, it was Jared's fault. We have taken a vote on it already. Jared, it's your fault. I was going to get a sticker made, um, but I don't think I can get it made fast enough. <laughs> Sam did it, Jared's fault, and then have, a, have an arrow pointed at it. <laughs> yeah, I do have squirrel moments, Stephanie. Is that, a, that is a squirrel, isn't it? I think it is. Are you coming to Missouri also? I will not be in Missouri. Uh, Lake Cumberland isn't too far from you, is it? About four and a half hours, five and a half hours, somewhere around there. It's a small hole. It's all good. Yeah, yeah, you can patch that up real easy. Watch the video. It is, it is proof crash. Like, he literally said, Sam, you know, isn't it, isn't it true that if it doesn't come, just hit the gas even further? Like, if it doesn't work, get a bigger hammer? It's, it's Jared's fault. I think you just threw him under, <laughs> under the RV, right? And we all watched it. Exactly. All right. Yeah, I won't be in Missouri. I'm trying to go back up to try to catch up. All right, I'm, I'm caught up with all that. <clears throat> uh, comfortably numb. What are you looking for in Missouri? I couldn't tell you that. You'd have to ask Jared on one of his live streams. Crazy, just the rope did that damage. Everything I suggested worked. Yes, it did. I don't, I don't really know what happened. I didn't think that rope would be strong enough with that muff. There was a lot of force behind it, yes, but I did not think that that was going to slingshot back. I'm just glad that nobody was in the way. Um, Jared played it safe and told everybody to get out of the way, you know, and, and all of them were really cautious about it. Uh, I am a coal miner. Well, I was a coal miner. I'm unemployed right now. Um, laid off because of COVID and uh, the mine actually shut down. But I've had a, over a thousand pulls on pulling stuff out of out of binds, of pulling miners out, pulling shuttle cars out. If you guys don't know what shuttle cars is, it's it's where the miner puts the coal into a vehicle to put it on the belt. We've had to pull those out of mud holes, and I've seen. Shack, or not shackles, but clevises break. Jared calls them shackles, but they're actually called clevises in, in Southern. Um, I've seen chains snap in half, uh, shiv wheels explode. So everything I've seen Jared do today was really cautious. And I would not have thought that that would have came back as hard as it did to bust a hole in that wall. That's for sure. I guess I've seen chains do it, but not a daggum rope. Working home due to COVID. Yeah, it's okay. You have 10 million subs in a month. Reeling with Remy, I appreciate that. I uh, I, I would love it. Um, not expecting it, but it would be amazing. Um, props to Adventures with Purpose for giving me the love and Sam that's been giving me the love on their channel. I appreciate it a lot. I'm going to be with them again, and it's been uh, it's definitely been a fun ride the past week. <laughs> Um, not, you know, some, some of the stuff that, that has been, um, that they have done hasn't been fun, but, you know, more of the, you know, the, the, the fun parts of it. So I respect these guys and, and they have huge hearts to do what they're doing. Um, I'm also doing the, the same type of work where I'm at, um, just like on the videos that you've seen. I don't have the sonar equipment that Jared has and that Tammy and 
dentists have. So I've been working up on that. Things that I've been doing to raise the funds are selling stickers, which they're $5 a piece. And then I have, if you guys look at it, so those are the Chaos Diver stickers. And I think it's right where you are. Um, I think it's right side, so it's just YouTube Chaos Divers. Um, thank you, Crash. I appreciate that. Um, and then we also, I'm, I'm not selling them right now, but I have been on the phone with a person that makes these shirts and I'm really interested in actually giving her a chance to do these. I just don't know if it's, let me just show you, see if you like it. I like it. Get your guys' vote on it. Um, it should be correct on your side. If it's not, it's my, obviously you see it. I like it. I think it, I think it turned out really well. She did a good job. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I'm in touch with her about it. Um, price wise, I don't want to price gouge it to make any, you know, like you make a profit off of it so I can get this sonar. <clears throat> so I've been talking to her about the prices and I told her, I said, if I do start getting them, it's going to be an abundance and hopefully I can get, uh, get them sold. So that's awesome. If you guys like the shirt, I appreciate it. Um, but these are available now and it's Jacob's Viper at hotmail.com is the PayPal link. What I ask of you guys to do, if you do purchase one of these stickers or two or three or four to support the sonar system, I do ask that you give me a return address because I did not set up a website yet. Um, so put it on the PayPal. Like I said, they're $5. Tell me how many you want, or obviously I'll know on the donation. Um, if somebody will uh, let me, or if somebody will throw up my PayPal, it's Jacob's Viper at hotmail.com. Um, so if you guys do purchase it, give me an address and I'll get them sent out to you. If I'm with Jared, I'll be sending them out after the 16th or I'll have somebody, one of the family members help me send them out. So I appreciate each and every one of you guys a lot. And so I have showed you Thank you, Reeling with Remy. That uh, that is not my email, so there's an M instead of a an N. <clears throat> if you guys will watch my last video I just posted, it's in the description link under Sonar. I do have my physical address. If you guys don't have like a PayPal or something like that, um, thank you, Reeling with Remy, for correcting that. What really with Remy put down is Jacob's Viper at hotmail.com. That is, <laughs> that is the PayPal. Um, these again are $5 a piece. And if I sell out of them before I leave, I will make sure I get more of them. So I appreciate it. When are you going to come wrestle octopus with me? Sam, Sam, the adventure man. I think it's going to be pretty soon by the, uh, the, the numbers that I see up there. Um, this is kind of crazy. This is the first time I've ever had 72 people. Um, Sam Sam the Adventure Man. If you guys haven't seen him yet, obviously you came from his, you know, Adventures with Purpose channel, which has Sam in it. Please put, uh, one of my moderators, please put Sam or go to Sam's channel on here. He's a huge supporter and one of my brothers. Jared also is one of my brothers. I mean, we are, we talk all the time. Um, yeah, I know really with Remy, it's, it's kind of nerve wracking. Um, <laughs> I, <clears throat> I can do good with about 20 people, but the, the 70, it has, I'm, uh, I'm a little nervous. So anyway, like I said, I do have the sticker guy on point that if I wanted him to make more, he can make more really quick. Uh, so... Famous broke goofballs, but good people. 
<laughs> Jared and Sam are the best. So when, when I get together with them, it's going to be a whole different story. It's going to be chaos. No pun intended. If you come through um, West Virginia, I got a free RV hookup. Awesome. Wait till you have 600 in the chats. I'm telling you, Remy, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to keep up. Uh, Robert Davis. Hey, Sam, what's up? It's in your live stream today. What's going on? Haley Anderson, what's going on? Kathy Kula. Uh, Kukla. Kukla. There we go. <laughs> Hey, so was Sam, hey, so was Sam, and then, oh, so was Sam, oh my gosh. So I have this bright light, let me turn it down so I can actually read. Hey, that's better, I can read. Hey, so was Sam, and then he started doing interviews. Did you see him? Like, I legit smiled the whole time that he did that interview. He was like so professional and and I was proud of him. I'm like, oh my God, that is amazing. That is definitely amazing. Now, I'm gonna tell you that my channel, guys, is, is based upon comedy, fun, adventurous, but I do have some seriousness in it, and, and you will see that. Um, I'm currently looking for Joel Moore. He's been missing for 10 years. Um, different speculations on where he's at. We've searched probably six or seven different spots. What's going on, Turtle Boy? Turtle Boy um, is another scuba diver that goes with me. I didn't see him come on. What's going on, Tanner? He is a 12-year-old scuba diver that, that wants to start cleaning up the environment with me. So we're going to go down to like Bellsman Springs and Pounds Hollow and clean all of the, uh, the different um, trash. What's popping? <laughs> and, and Turtle Boy is going to be coming with me. Um, he's a great diver. His mother, Rebecca, just got certified. So she'll be with us. I am super, super proud of Sam. Like, he went on this adventure... He, he, he left a lot of things behind to, to do this. And, you know, people have lives and stuff. And I admired Jared and Sam for both taking their time out to help bring closures to people's families. It, it, meant, the, it meant the world to me to see that. It hurt that I couldn't go with them. But I'm, I've been with them through the whole journey. And I'm proud of both of them. My husband loves to scuba dive, but does not have the equipment, but he has the experience. Okay. Yeah, um, at first I started renting um, at Mermet Springs. And then after that, I started curing um, different, um, you know, some equipment. So like Divers Down, he helped me out with uh, a set of regulators, which I'm in debt to him. Like seriously, it was the most amazing thing ever for him to do for me. Uh, Mitch, um, he, he really, he really helped me out with the dry suit, the D1 dry suit you guys will see next week. So I, I appreciate, or Brent, Brent Mitch is what his name is. Um, and he ha he also has a YouTube channel, but he's from California and he was like, Hey dude, you know, do you need a dry suit? And I'm like, yeah, that would be amazing. I thought he was joking at first. Like, you know, people just blow smoke and I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever. He's like, no, seriously, you're the same size as me. Do you want it? I said, that's a $3,600 $3, dry suit that he gave me. So it, it was it was amazing. Um, Jacob, can't wait to see you in uh, in Cumberland. I'm going to be there, brother. I appreciate Yeah. Breathe, inhale, positive, inhale, Nick. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Driven deep. What's going on, buddy? Sam really shined when the light shined on him. He really did. I was proud of him. Very good job, Sam, on the interview. Uh, so much for the camera shy Sam. I'm telling you. He was in the Navy. I'm from Indiana. What's going on, Melissa? Monica, you're doing good, all of you. Okay, cool. You all are so amazing. 
Um, all their channels are real, raw, true. Y'all have big hearts. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it, it means, <laughs> I keep saying this, but it really does. Like the support that I've seen everybody give Jared and Sam and Dan and Brock. They got cupcakes and I didn't. <laughs> um, where's Lucy? I don't know. She might be on here. Hey, big fella. What's, uh, hold on. Rest in peace. Hold on. Uh, hey, big fella. What's, what's doing? Just got back from a nice dive. Uh, nice little carpet shark. Awesome. Dive on, um, down under dive. Okay. So anyway, down under Dan diving. Oh my God. I can't believe I can't say that. What's going on, buddy? You got the longest shout out ever. We only have one income coming in due to my injuries. So being able to get stuff is hard for us. Melissa, trust me. I, I, I know that's what you didn't get any cupcakes. Yeah, it is. It is hard to English, Monica. It really is. Sam, we felt in the news of Natalie got to you. It was so emotional. It, it, it really was. It was hard for me to moderate. I, I had to step away from the computer. Um, you know, I don't have, my moderators don't have the links to um, Natalie's GoFundMe and or um, uh, Nicholas's. Yeah, so it's, yeah, okay. So it was Nicholas's um, GoFundMe. So if somebody wants to please go to Jared's channel, one of my moderators, and check out both of those videos and grab the link to Daniel and the live stream and Natalie's and please post it in here. Uh, the Sheba, what's going on? What's going on? Tara Mason, what is up? So Tara, how are you? I'm glad to actually meet you on, on actual camera now. I left it running, so I'll have a few time, but had to step away. Yeah, definitely. I saw the video with Turtle Boy. Um, good going, kiddo. You're going to go far, and he is. I am so proud of how far that Tanner has gotten. We've taken three dives together, three or four, maybe even more. Maybe more. But each time I have seen him advance so well. Oh, yeah. Tanner has an interview in the morning, guys. He is going to be the unsung hero of News Channel 3. Um, the video that I produced for him, uh, or I edited for him, he's actually going to be doing a interview at the rock quarry, which is, or the dive quarry, which is uh, Mermaid Springs. So I will have that news broadcast on my YouTube or on my Facebook. So if you guys check out my Facebook, it's chaos divers, um, or it's Jacob Grubbs, whichever one it, I, I don't care which one, but the chaos divers is one that's going to have Tanner's news stream on there. Thank you, Byron McDonald. I appreciate that. That is Natalie Jones's um, GoFundMe. If you guys haven't, I don't care if it's a dollar. I don't care if it's 50. Uh, well, I, think, I don't think you, you may be able to do 50 cents. Everything helps that family. Um, so please. Please help. Sam, who snores, Jared or you? <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> I want to know this too. I don't know. Cause he got another room. I was when we were up in St. Louis, David Johnson. Hi, thank you for doing the live event. You're welcome. I appreciate you coming in. Sam, Sam, the adventure man. I was trying to watch the first live stream at work without anyone noticing. I don't know. I'm sleepy. <laughs> yeah. He, he, Sam doesn't know if he's snoring. The only reason why I know I snore horribly bad is somebody recorded me. Wilkins Outdoor Adventures, punk. Um, yes, please put, if somebody could find Nicholas's, please put his up. He was a 17-year-old in North Carolina that um, 
um, that lost his life in the river. I don't know the exact details on that, and I'm not going to sit there and try to explain it. Just know that Nicholas' family is also in need. So if you would like to join or like to do the GoFundMe, please do that and please find it. Thank you, uh, David Mack. I think threw that up. Make sure you put um, Chaos PayPal a few times so you can get donations. I, I don't have my computer on me. If somebody wants to do that for me, I appreciate it. Um, so there is quite a few moderators in here. Um, thank you, Tara, I appreciate that. And I'm, you, I'm actually gonna put you guys to work now. <laughs> um, I've been waiting on, on, on a day like today to, to see 70 people, it, it's unreal. Um, it's actually a little overbearing. So whenever I leave tonight, I'm going to be like so stoked. Um, there's a lot of hard work that goes in editing. Um, Cause I do, I, I do more of the treasure hunting and, and, and the, and the going and having fun and, and enjoying um, the, the whole, you know, searching, for missing people has, has been thrown, not thrown on us, but we've adapted to it. It come with the territory. And whenever I had the opportunity to go up with Jared and Sam, I was honored to be able to serve the family. Um, I only had 15 dives in and I was not going in that water. Jared is a hero. Sam is a hero for doing that. The family really got Nathan's family. I'm, I'm not going to elaborate on it, but it's, um, it's amazing what they did. So with that gave me the energy to want to do it more. Um, it felt really good to serve the family. So finding Nathan more, you know, I, I knew mate, uh, knew Nathan from, or I said, okay, so I'm getting them mixed up, the names. Joel Moore. I'm getting Joel Moore. I met him at Mad Pricer. We've talked numerous times. I've known him, and then he came up missing. So in, in the light of things, his phone pinged in Southern Illinois. Um, that's all the details I'm going to give you. Um, my areas are very wide. And there's a vehicle missing and him. So we're going to find him. Um, I, I'm, I'm sure of it. I hope. So we just got to, we know where he's not. That's, that's all I can say. All right, I'm going to get back to talking about this before I, y'all are doing a great job with the work you're doing, helping others. Thank you. I appreciate it, Justina. Um, Sam and Chaos, are you coming to Jared down under borders? Open up. I, I don't know. Sam, Sam possibly will. I, I, I can't answer that. I don't, I don't know that. Um, can I ask where you're located at? I'm from Harrisburg, um, Southern Illinois. Uh, there is a need. Detectives and cops can only do so much. Let me, let me get back to Stephanie's comment here. Uh, there is a need. Detectives and cops can only do so much and have so many cases every day to juggle. So unless they have money for a private detective, then they won't get their answers. You know, whenever it's fresh on people's minds, and, and, and Stephanie's right, so you have that window, and I'm not trying to diss the law enforcement around here, the detectives or the private detectives. They have a lot of cases. I don't know if you guys have, have seen the wall at Walmart of missing people. You know, they've got their hands full. So any help that they can do. So there's your answer. Sam, Sam, the evictor man says, heck yeah, I'm coming to Australia. Um, so anything that a person could do, I don't care who it is. Me, may it be you. And I'm talking to each and every one of you. If you had sonar, go search. Go search the waters. You never know what you're going to find. Heck, you could find, you know, you can solve a mystery that nobody even knew. Um, 
people from out of state could have come down or could have came down and and you wouldn't even know about that case because you don't get the local <clears throat> news here. You know, you don't get the local missing persons cases here. You know, they could have ditched their phone and, and, and did something to themselves out in the woods and you don't even know. So anyway, always pay attention to your sonars. If you have them, if you see something that's weird, that's odd, maybe look like a vehicle, maybe look like something that shouldn't be in there, get a hold of your local law enforcement. Or if we're available, get a hold of us. We'll dive down it. Get a hold of your local dive team. Someone saw the missing person case with Google Earth. Yes. So there was a man, I think it was like 20 years ago or so. It was a long cold case. Um, the river, the, their, their pond turned over. Their pond was already always dirty. And then one day that pond turned over and it cleared up. Google Earth images took the picture and it looked identical to the car. I'm pretty sure that's the case you're talking about. Um, they found the vehicle and they found him. Tara Mason, I appreciate you putting up the PayPal link. So what Tara's putting up is stickers. If you guys are just now joining, I'm selling these for $5 a piece. Um, I have access to, I mean, a whole bunch of these. So we're not gonna run out in the near future. So it's $5. What it's gonna go for is gonna go for the sonar. And soon, I'm gonna get a hold of her and see if she can make mass productions of them. Um, we're gonna have Chaos Diver shirts. I don't wanna over, I don't wanna overbook her because she's got a huge order that she's working on and she works by herself. So I think it turned out really well. I like it. <clears throat> so we're gonna go down to Lake Cumberland. We're gonna have a good time. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Tara's right. Thank you. I appreciate it. It helps the algorithm. It helps me get monetized. It helps YouTube decide this guy is good or this guy sucks. I'm hoping once the world opens up again, y'all can come down to Detroit and dive the river. So many people and vehicles and so much more. Lots and lots of alcohol down there from rum, from rum, run, ugh, rum runners days. Yeah. So like where Jared's from, you know, Oregon, He's finding these huge saw blades. You just never know what's underwater. <laughs> That's what's fun. It's exploring. What I think it's 78% of the, of, the, of the world is made up of water. Is it 78%? I don't know. Somebody has to look it up. I think that's right, though. <clears throat> Nobody searched all these waters. Maybe get pre-orders for the shirts so you know what to buy. You know, Crash, I was thinking about that. Um, but I don't want to put, I mean, if I pre-order something, it's wishy-washy, not wishy-washy, but it's kind of like, hey, do I spend $1,000 on shirts and sell 100 of them, you know, 100 of them? I, I'm like, I can't, I can't do the pre-orders right now. I have to figure it out. So her and I are going to be talking. Turtle boy. Turtle Boy is a man, right there, Turtle Boy. Right, I'm in the, uh, right, I'm in the down river area, and um, I'm not even gonna try to say that, has gone right after the incidents. <laughs> I know, but, you know, what if she can't make that many, or what if she has an issue, and then you guys, I guess I can refund your money. I guess I could do that. We'll see what happens. So if you're interested in a shirt, um, these shirts currently I'm selling, they're gonna be, um, it'll be, I think it's, it's 25 for a two and three X shirt. And then it's 22 for a small, extra small and stuff like that. So it's on PayPal, write down whatever you want the sizes. And if something happens that she can't make the amount that we're doing, you'll get a full refund. That, that's, that's, that's what I can do. Um, so we'll just, we'll see how many I can actually get. And we'll go from there. 
and it'll be including shipping. So if Sam can do a bang up job, so, so can you. Thank you, Anita Jackson. I appreciate it. Yeah, but if he ordered a bunch, he would have a stash. Exactly. Start out of like a hundred shirts and work up. I could do that golf. Um, I could do that. So like I said, it's, this is new. This was like presented to me today. She's like, Tanner's mom actually got this for me for doing, um, so Tanner is Turtle Boy. His mother got this shirt from me and I'm like, I like this shirt, can she make me more? And so I got the prices and that's what we're gonna go by. Um, you know, bulk ordering will be cheaper. So we'll see what happens in the near future. On the 16th, I'll know better. New things come help support what you guys do. Thank you. I do have my camera rig. If anybody hasn't seen this. All right, Crash. Thank you. I appreciate it. So this is my new camera rig that I'm going to take down there. Has a strap. Has the wireless Sennheiser uh, 100. I think it's a 100. It's actually a pretty... It, so I did, I don't have, yeah, it's the E100 G3 setup. I can go a football field length with these with this setup, and you guys can still hear me. Now with this, um, you guys see that windproof? It's the teddy bear. So Michelle Cosimo, I appreciate it. Um, like I said, the Facebook, if you guys want to get a hold of me, you can text me on that. Now, this is all, you know, this is all new to me. Um, this got presented to me, and I asked her if we could actually do a lot of production with it. She said, yeah. So I said, all right. Where at of Cumberland Lake are you going? I wish I knew, Teresa. I really do. <laughs> I don't have the slightest clue. It's 102 miles long. The area, there's a there, there's an area there. And uh, it's basically Jacob drive down, get a hotel about an hour away and hope to goodness he's not on the other side. Cause that's a two hour trip, round trip around it. Oh, there's this, it's because it's secret and I can, they can't let the cat out of the bag. So I do have, yeah, I know he does. So <laughs> I do have, um, a GPS lock on him, so I do know where he's going. Good camera rig. Thank you, uh, Michelle. I do appreciate it. For shirts and stickers, PayPal at jacobsviper at hotmail.com. What that's going to do, guys, <clears throat> which Byron has, has put it up, I've already told you this, um, it's going toward the sonar. Um, the sonar is going to be, I was going to get the sonar through Team Waters. If you guys have watched the last video I did, you will see that we've been searching for Joe Moore, there's a couple other people that have been, that has came up missing, but it wasn't vehicle related, but still could be in the water. So we have a lot of strip pits in the area. This is an old coal mining town and the surrounding areas are full. Uh, bring an air mattress and sleep in the RV. <laughs> um, so we're gonna, we're gonna pull a helicopter out. We're going to pull a helicopter out at Lake Cumberland. So that would be awesome. Am I gonna go live when you get to the secret spot? So Sam might, or not Sam, but uh, Jared might. I'm not gonna go live. Uh, well, I might, but we'll figure it out. Oh my God, four guys snoring in an RV, Monica. <laughs> All right, so I, I do snore really loud. Hold up a sticker again. Okay, so these are the stickers. They're really quality and whatever they put them on, they really, really stick and they're waterproof. So if you put them on your vehicle, they will not come off. But you better put it on whatever you want it to stay on you because you're gonna have to take a um, razor blade to get it off. It's high quality, thicker sticker, thicker sticker, actually, that actually sounded pretty funny. All right. And they're $5 a piece on through PayPal. Um, that would be amazing to get a helicopter out. I am super excited. 
You're collecting them for your new car. All right, AS Spirit, I appreciate that. Um, hopefully, if we get this helicopter out, it should be going to Mermet Springs. Uh, we're going to get a hold of them. So I'm accompanied with Mermet Springs. They're a dive facility. Thicker sticker. <laughs> I like it. Um, I would would a couple, but won't have the money till next week. That's fine. Um, I'm going to be on Jared's channel. I'm going to be on, you know, we're, we're going to have some fun. Um, this portion of the, of the, of the trip is, is the funner, funner is the, the better half. You're going to see a lot of our personalities come out. I can't imagine getting a copter out. The snow cat was huge. It sh she'll definitely go on my dive tank. Awesome. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's fun. That's pretty freaking amazing. Um, put up a link for the stickers. So I'm going to have a link. I just have to talk to Jared on how to do that. Um, so what we're doing right now is through PayPal. That's Jacob's Viper at Hotmail.com. Somebody will send it up. Um, that's how you can get them. And what you'll do, it was Monica, okay. So what you'll do is you'll put your physical address on there or your P.O. box or a friend's address, I don't care. I'll have them sent out before I leave. I have one day to do it. So I will have them sent out um, and you should be receiving them. Now, if you guys order while I'm down there, unless I can get some help doing these stickers, I will send them on the 16th or the 17th whenever I, you know, whenever the day is I get home. So we will uh, do that. Like I said, it's, it's all new to me on this. I've done stickers before the same way. So everybody's been pleased with that, with my method. I will get in contact with you through the email. So we can do that anyway. So with that being said, these shirts for a 2X and a 3X, because they're obviously bigger size. This is the 3X and it fits me pretty well. I'm a big guy. Um, it's 25. And then for the, the smaller shirts, it'll be 22. So I appreciate the support. You guys don't have to. It's all, it's, it all helps the channel to get me the sonar to be able to do what Jared and Sam is doing. Now, again, what I was talking about earlier when we go to Lake Cumberland, we're gonna have some fun. <clears throat> Dave Mack, we're actually, will you ship internationally? Yes, with actual, with, with $10 extra, I will ship international. That is how much it's gonna cost for shipping. Um, the last time I shipped spinner baits across the United, or across international, it was $10, so. I've gotta go, wish me luck tomorrow on the interview. Everybody in this channel, please tell Tanner, good luck. He's going to have an unsung hero, News Channel 3. If you guys haven't checked out Turtle Boy, I do some of his edits. Well, I do all of his edits. Please tell him good, good luck. It might be more depending on the package size. So here's what we'll do. We'll get in contact with each other. If it costs more than... I will send you the receipt, you know, we'll, we'll Facebook message or we'll, we'll get in contact with each other or email and then I'll send you how much it costs me. You reimburse me with that and that's all you have to do. Turtle Boy, like I said, he did a wonderful interview video with his mom and that dive that he's on in the video on Turtle Boys is with, he was with me at the time, so. Had way too much fun today. Sam Sam the Adventure Man. If anybody hasn't checked him out, check his channel out. And Adventures with Purpose. Y'all came from his channel, so it's whatever. They are two great guys. And their personalities came out today. So. It, it wasn't as much as the, uh, you know, it's... It's completely different circumstances when you're out there diving for vehicles that, you know, hopefully no surprises. 
But man, they're fun. They're they're a fun bunch of guys to be with. Thank you, Ellisworth, Carl. I appreciate that. Good night, Sam. If you're gonna go to bed, Sam, I didn't think <coughs> I didn't think uh, you guys were. You're, you're probably at the location now. So, Byron McDonald, Sam Page, is, he's posted it right there. Appreciate it. Brock the Rock um, got the pleasure of spending a few few days with them, maybe even a week. I think. Yeah, what was up with that? That made me mad. Finders keepers, okay? You found that fair and square. You found that. That's yours. That's finders keepers rules. He had no right to take that away from you. But it had an ID. That's the only read. That's the only thing that got me. I was aggravated at it. Yeah, that it, you know. If it was personal and if it, you know, I don't know. I just think that the sheriff on that deal was, yeah, and they were all fake IDs. So his content, you, you guys will see Sam's content um, very soon. He has been working on it while he's been driving, and so you'll definitely get to see his videos. He's probably the funnest guy to be around. Uh, Jared's mean. Jared's listening right now, so that's why I'm saying it. <laughs> but I can't wait to be with him on Monday. Uh, we're going to spend till the 16th with him, and it's going to be fun. Jared sets Sam up all the time. Love you, Jared. <laughs> All right, guys, on that note, it's getting better for sure. Jared has tough love. He, he is a straight shooter. Um, you have to understand Jared to, to get Jared. And it's Illinois, not Illinois, okay? Um, so it's full-time live stream. They did not... Okay, so is the full live stream they did lost up when you got it shut down. I missed it. Um, somebody had a gun. They were on live stream. I didn't. I didn't even know it was against the uh, the rules to show a gun <clears throat> on a live stream. So I guess it is, and they shut down the live stream immediately. So I guess they can't show it, but whenever they do the video, they can show it. So it's kind of weird. And it's pastor, not pasture. <laughs> you did amazing on this video. Thank you, Crash. I appreciate it. Stay safe, guys. Hope you uh, don't, hope you won't find any surprises. I hope, I hope we don't either. I hope they don't either. Hope we don't. Um, this just shows how honest and trusting these guys are. They turn in everything they have and try to reconnect to the owners that lost the items. So in the next video that you'll see of mine, I'm going to be showing you guys. So several, uh, I think it's like two or three videos back. I found $1,500 worth of um, $1,500 plus worth of lost valuables. When I say that some people, I don't trust people on, on some of their videos, I never would have thought there'd have been five Apple Watches in that one swimming hole. And the thing about it, the, an iPhone watch is that I learned every single one of them that I found is the factory band. So if you own, if you own an Apple Watch, change that band if you plan on jumping off a cliff. Because once it impacts, yes, it's waterproof, but once it impacts, it just takes that little button. There's just a little push button, like you fold it through and you push it down, and that's what holds it. When it drops down and hits the water, it, it's gone. Five of them I found. One was cru crushed, because it had been there for quite a while, and there had been huge storms, so rocks and everything. So those broke, or that one broke. The other four, they turned on. 
that that's four. That's not three and a half, okay? You know anybody that's got three pinkies? I do. <laughs> so anyway, um, change the bands on the watches if you decide to jump off a cliff. And also, on a good note is, or on the feature, one good feature on the iPhone watches, or the Apple watches, they have a medical ID on there. You can fill out the information. You can put an address on it. You can put a phone number. You can put, um, I'm so tired, I'm delirious. What's up, Tara? I, I, I haven't read her messages, but I see everybody's laughing at Tara. For some reason, something, something's been set up there, and I'll get to that in a second. But anyway, um, there's a medical ID on there. So when you have, I don't have my Apple Watch with me right now. Oh, the bail fund. There you go. So on the bottom of it, you press the button and you hold it. Not the power button. Or, yeah, it's, it is the power button. You hold it down. You can either dial SOS or see a medical ID. Hit the medical ID and you have his information. That's how I found one of the owners. Uh, found his name and his spouse's number. So that was awesome. I got a hold of him. He was two and a half hours away. He came down and got his, got his, uh, his watch. Everything was nice. He did a video with me, and I was getting ready to leave. I took my phone down. I, you know, I put it to my side. He hands me $40 for the, for the sonar fund, and I told him, I said, what are you? At first, I thought it was 20 and I looked at it, and I'm like, what are you doing, man? You drove two and a half hours to get your watch. He goes, it's worth it. Thank you for finding me. I appreciate it. Well, when I got in, into, the, into the house, I unfolded it. And I told him I, I, I refused two or three times. And he said, you deserve it. Just keep it. I'm leaving. I said, okay, I appreciate it. Josh, if you're watching this, thank you so much. So anyway, I've unfolded it and it was 40 bucks. He gave 40 bucks to the sonar. That's amazing. Uh, David Mack also gave 100. Yes, I wasn't supposed to say that again, but David Mack is amazing. Um, there is a GoFundMe page for the sonar also with these stickers um in the link below or not not well it'll be in the link below whenever i get off of here but it's in my other videos once i start searching for joel and you see the search videos that's the gofundme link so anyway other than that um i went down <laughs> This is a funny, this is a quick, funny story. The first day I came back with that Apple watch or with those Apple watches, I think I found, I found a, a gold necklace, a silver necklace, uh, a wedding band, a spinning ring, and then one of those stretchy rings. I don't even want, this, I don't even know what kind of material those are made out of, but I found that. And then 20 or 30 pairs of sunglasses, it's amazing how much stuff was down there. Uh, silicone. Thank you, Neptune. So every weekend, you can go down to this spot, and there's two to 300 people there. Like, you can't walk through that beach without bumping into somebody, and the water's horrendous. Like, you can't even walk around it. Everybody's drinking. Everybody's having a great time. But they're leaving their trash. They're leaving their junk. They're taking their clothes off. I found a whole bunch of clothes. Um, they're just having fun, but they need to clean up after themselves after they're done. They jump off cliffs. They lost, uh, I found a pair of Oakleys, which I still have those. They don't look good on me, but I still have them. So anyway, regardless, the funny story is I got home in less than an hour, I was able to charge that watch up, look at the picture, and I said, there's a picture here. Like it actually turned on. I'm like, all right. So I took a picture of that, put it on Facebook in less than an hour. We found the owner. She was in Metropolis. So I drove down there, gave her the watch. Everything went well. She did a video with me. She told me how her daughter lost it. Awesome. Great. I come back and I get a $165 speeding ticket. <laughs> oh, so aggravated. He got me. It's a beautiful place if they would stop trashing it. Bellsmith Springs is an amazing spot. Uh, yeah, you know, have your fun, enjoy it, enjoy nature, but 
please pick up your trash. I don't want to be picking it up out of the water. And I especially don't want to be picking up the knives. There was a medical knife, and that's what that was. It wasn't a throwing knife. If you watch it, Divers Down is the one that got me those regulators. He's right there. Check out his channel. He's an amazing man. He helped me out tremendously. And I will always support him throughout this whole endeavor. I don't know if you guys know how much regulators cost, but they are not cheap. Am I shelling? Am I shelling church? So right now, David, I am taking pre-orders to see how many I can get. And if something happens that she can't get these pre-orders out, I will be refunding that money back. Um, that's the only thing I can. That's the only thing I can do because I don't know what her process is, how much she's going to be able to do. If I get 400 shirts sold, that little, that poor girl's going to have, <laughs> she's going to have a full-time job for a month. And I, I want to be able to process them and get them out to the people quick. So I don't have them pre-made. The, uh, the extra large will be 22. Um, the bigger X, uh, 2X and 3Xs are be, going to be 25. And that will be, um, you know, it's not including um, shipping. So it's like two or three dollars extra or whatever. If you if you send me your email, I'll be able to email you the receipt and show you how much I spent on it. So that's what that shirt is. That's what it looks like. I think she does a um, a really great. Well, thank you, David. I appreciate that. Um, really great job. This is this is a trial run. This is a test run. Like I said, I, I didn't I didn't even know this was going on until Tanner's mom told me about it. So that was amazing. Thank you, Tara. I, I was actually I was like, she's like, well, I don't know if you'll like it or not. And I looked at it and I went, oh my God, I love it. You know? It's like, yeah. She says, Well, this whole thing was supposed to be red. I'm like, I don't want it red like that. The red outer border looks great. Divers Down is the channel's name. Yeah, he actually just uh, he just got on. Um, Divers Down, there it is, right there. Divers Down. Um, when I first started scuba diving, I okay. So if you guys want to hear about my scuba diving, I have. I think I'm. I don't exactly know how. I'm one class away from being a master diver. I have eighty. I think eighty-seven dives in now. Um, you can see my progress from when I first started till now. I have videos from, you know, then on. Every day I was taking three to five dives a day. Um, my deepest I've ever dove was 114 feet. Um, I've sank a houseboat. The fabric feels softer. I like the gray t-shirts. You know, like I said, um, if you get a hold of me, through there, I can see what types of shirts she can get me. I don't know. I don't know the details yet. I do know that she can do mass productions, but I've got to see before we we get too far into this. I'll be able to uh, see if she can make what I have. So, I've been in Metropolis during a motorcycle rally. They have a lot of rallies down there. Um, motorcycle rallies. They have the Superman trio or the uh, uh, Comic Con, or is it? I don't know. They dress up as superheroes down there because Metropolis is the home of Superman. They got a huge Superman statue. Right now, he's got a huge mask on. It's freaking hilarious. Stupid COVID. But yeah, they they have the Comic Con down there. It's it's a fun place. Metropolis is awesome. Uh, Mermet Springs is south of Vienna, about ten and a half miles, and that's. That's who I'm, I'm with. Um, there's a lot of great instructors down there. If you ever want to learn how to scuba dive and you're around that area, check them out. If not, I urge you guys to do scuba diving at your local shops. If I had the experience and the right stuff um, I needed, I would do scuba diving and clean up the environment. Awesome. I appreciate it. Clean up the water. Uh, I was in Chicago for a time when I was a teen. I've been to Chicago several times. My family's from Chicago, and uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful town or city. 
Gotta go. Thanks, everyone. Yes, Tara, thank you for your help. I appreciate each and every one of you. You guys don't know this unless you've seen my videos. Keep diving. It's not worth it to stop. There's a meaning behind that. Um, like my Chaos Paddlers channel, keep paddling. It's not worth it to stop. What that means is life's too good. Somebody out there loves you. Keep struggling. Keep pushing. Don't give up. Because it's not worth it to stop. Y'all have a great evening. Good night. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on Monday. Thanks again. I appreciate it. Y'all have a nice evening.